now. Hello Facebook, I'm here with Pete and Peg Jones and they are the owners of this yurt behind us. And so I was just wondering, how did you get involved in buying a yurt and building it in your backyard? <laughs> Let me tell that story. Oh, okay. <laughs> Peg took a uh, road trip with our two daughters about probably 20, 25 years ago. And uh, they stayed in a yurt at an Oregon State campground. And when she got home, she said, Someday I just want to have a yurt on the property. <laughs> so that's how we ended up with a yurt. <laughs> yeah, I love I love the the round space, the, the just the lift you get when you walk through the door and just just it wasn't square. There were no there are no right angles in right. a yurt. Everything is balanced. Right. So it's it's just, so beautiful. It's a great feeling. Mm -hmm. It's a great feeling. So what has been your best day as a yurt owner? <laughs> oh gosh. Probably best day was having our daughter Mary here, and the yurt provided um, the background for our our dressing room, but also it was the the stage for the um, uh, bluegrass band that we had playing, and everything wow. out here was the wedding and dancing and frolicking, and just a great day. I'd, I'd was, have to agree with you. That was probably the best day for the yurt. <laughs> So have you met any interesting people that have stayed in your yurt? Every single guest is interesting <laughs> from all walks of life, from every corner of the planet. We've had guests from every continent except Antarctica. Is except, that, right. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they've all so been interesting. every continent. Wow. Every continent except Antarctica. There was one guy in particular, though, that I, I mean, I, I, I told the story before where it was one of our first guests. and. Um, he, uh, I knew he had something to do with uh, teaching film, and uh, he came in, and he was talking to me about the sound system for the yurt, for the uh, surround sound system, and he gave me some tips on how to uh, how to adjust the sound in the yurt, and. Um, he went back to the yurt, and then his wife came in, and I started talking to her and, and told her, related this conversation that I'd had with her husband. And she said, you know, he'd probably never tell you this, but he was the producer of the first Star Wars and of uh, American Graffiti. I mean, just a <laughs> long list. And he was just the nicest guy and uh, the most unassuming person. Yeah. But uh, wow. that was probably one of the most memorable conversations <laughs> I've had with uh, I'm sure you guests. meet some very interesting people. All yes. walks. All walks of life. Yes, that's awesome. We even had one time a couple staying here who were with the Cirque du Soleil performance circus. Mm -hmm. And they were just, they had a day off. They were performing up in San Jose and they had one day off. These are acrobats. Mm -hmm. And they decided to come down and stay in the yurt. Wow. They were interesting. Mm -hmm. so that is so awesome. It's, it's amazing. So do you ever stay in your yurt for fun? <laughs> Has it's, We did, but it, for the last five, four years we, we haven't had a chance. Right. It's always occupied, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is a good thing. So you have people coming to stay here very often? Almost every day. Wow. Wow. So day. how do you make sure that the people who stay here aren't criminals? Or well, that's that's a blessing of working through Airbnb, mm -hmm. um, and the vetting process is, is pretty secure, and all the verifications of each guest. And Airbnb backs you up. Okay. If you have a problem, if the guest has a problem or the host has a problem, just contact Airbnb, and the resolution begins. Well, wow. so that's and knock awesome. on wood, we've had amazing <laughs> people. Yeah, I think. When Peg said that we've had people from all over the world, I think that's probably been one of the biggest eye-openers, educations that we've had since we started doing this. Because, I mean, we've had Russians, we've had Chinese, <coughs> and it just makes you realize that uh, we're all just regular people. Right, right. And uh, it, it, it's just been an eye-opener how gracious and, and just wonderful people from every corner of the earth are, it yeah. seems like. Mm -hmm. It's just been, it's been terrific. Um, you know, it's, with tech, 
technology the way, I mean, Airbnb is a great example of how fast technology is moving, this acceleration of technology. And, uh, you know, the Africans have a saying that uh, it takes a village to raise a child. Well, I think we're getting to the point where it's going to take a planet to, ra to raise a child. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, I think, probably one of the one of the most exciting things about doing something like this is mm -hmm. just meeting people from all over the world. Right. That's awesome. It is. It's great. Well, and we get to travel by staying at home. You yeah. <laughs> so get to experience everybody. You get to see so all the walks of life. We call it armchair travel. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> That's funny. Armchair travel. Uh -huh. Well, thank you so much for talking to You're us. You're welcome. <laughs> it's been so delightful to have you and your family with us. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Bye.